Now then, let's take a closer look at the Amiga Down jacket. Um, the first thing I should say about this sample I've got here to look at is it's a size small and I really would need a size medium. So it's a little bit tight on me, but it does give us the chance. I can get it on and it gives us the chance to have a look through the features and the design details of the Amiga. The Amiga is the warmest down jacket PhD build and it's rated at minus 55 degrees C. It's filled with 900 fill power down. Now there is an option uh, when you choose the in the options list on our website there is an option to have it filled with 950 uh, fill power down and we put in the same quantity of down but it boosts the warmth to minus 59 degrees C so thereabouts minus 60 degrees C. So it's the warmest jacket and it's the warmest piece of equipment we've ever put out there and it's been used for uh, some of the most extreme polar expeditions and cold mountain expeditions that have ever been undertaken. It was chosen by the Amiga jacket was one of the jackets looked researched and looked into by the team preparing the equipment for Ranulf Fiennes' expedition uh, to cross Antarctica in the winter. It's the coldest expedition ever been undertaken and his plan was to cross Antarctica through the winter months. And uh, he looked at, their, his research team looked at several down jackets that would be suitable for that trip and the Amiga was clearly shown as the front runner, as the warmest piece of kit out there. So it's been used a great deal by those extremely cold places for, for those extremely cold places. It's been used a great deal on Everest as well, particularly by people that want that extra insulation that it provides. So using the Amiga jacket with Amiga trousers or indeed Amiga salopettes gives you a very, very warm setup. Now that's the first key piece of information. Now there is a very interesting piece of information about the design which is fairly unique and uh, I'd just like to run through that. Now this jacket is made in HS2 fabric, the sample I've got here. It's a waterproof breathable fabric and it's seam seal taped so it's all the seams are taped to stop water getting in. Now uh, we also offer it in Tempest fabric, that's a heavier fabric, it's more robust and it's the sort of fabric that would be selected, again it's tapable and it's waterproof and so on, and it would be selected by people working in Antarctica, say uh, camera crews, people using um, heavy equipment, uh, skidoos, uh, people you, out in a scenario where fabric can be cut a little bit more easily then they, they choose Tempest, it's a more robust heavier fabric but for most clients would choose HS2 fabric, this one. But what's interesting about this garment is that it is a shelled, it's a down jacket fully shelled with waterproof fabric to really really protect in very very hot, uh, cold and inhospitable climates even if you're a stationary for long periods for instance if you're a photographer a film crew that sort of thing if you're working in those sorts of environments and you're stationary for long periods you really need a lot more insulation and that's where the Amiga comes into its own so it's got those really incredibly low temperature possibilities and it's fully shaped to make it a, a really, really protective piece of equipment. Right, let's have a closer look at it. I'll run through the features. First of all, it's an expedition length garment. It comes right down over the hips. I'll just turn around so you can see the back of it. It comes right down and it's elasticated at the bottom. You can see how it's sealing in around my hips to just bring it in and stop cold air ingress. I always like to look at the cold air ingress. It's one of the key factors with down equipment. It's not just how much down is in there, but how good, how good is the design to stop cold air getting in. So on the hem, it's uh, elasticated to really draw it in. On the cuffs, 
Velcro cuff tabs to, 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 to lock them down. That allows you to really make it small if your hand is going into a down mitt. Uh, the, 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 the sleeve would go, the cuff would go into the mitt. Or if you want to go over a mitt and seal the, the cuff over the top of the mitt, the adjustment's there. And then let's just go straight to the collar as well. Let's look at that. It's a thickly down fill uh, uh, filled collar and it's fleece lined and the idea is that it's high and it seals in around your neck to stop cold air ingress. Um, now of course it's an expedition piece of equipment, it's box wall design. That means that the outer fabric and the inner fabric are held apart by a, a wall of fabric that creates the down chambers that are filled with down and that the width of that is what allows us to put more down in and make it warmer. This, in, this, in this jacket actually the box wall is so uh, thick that, that the diff we've created a differential cut on the pattern. The inner pattern, the inner fabric and the outer fabric are different sizes. There's a differential cut and the outer fabric, the outer pattern is bigger than the inner to allow for such a lot of down to loft. So it's a very technical piece of equipment. It's often the case with, with PhD gear that the, the designs are technically detailed but simplistic in their uh, focus of features. You don't need lots and lots of features because we're, normally we're looking for the equipment to be very light and very practical and you don't want things to break, do you? Minus 40, minus 50, minus 60. You really don't want anything to break at all. So let's have a look at further at it. It's got a full length, I won't, I won't go through, it's got, a, it's got a full length zip and it's a two-way zip. So that you can, I'll just undo that, so you can access, if you were wearing a, a harness underneath this, like a climber's harness, you could access that mm -hmm. very easily. It's got a, so we've got a two-way zip up the front and we've got an insulated baffle, it's a double baffle, so two layers got a stud at the bottom to clip it in and then two layers closed with velcro. Velcro, the velcro here is designed so it's a uh, quick one tap, one tab with it and it's and it touches and it and it locks in. So it's substantial uh, velcro, very effective at immediately and quickly sealing out the the cold. We've also got waist adjustment cords there's a cord running around it and you can cinch it in. I can't cinch it in too much because the jacket's slightly small for me, but it just cinches it in and tidies it up. You don't want you don't want huge amount of fabric around you, you want it nice and neat and under control, not getting in the way. You'll also see a couple of D-rings here. Now these We've always put these on. These are for mitts. If you some some people have mitts with a, a clip on the end of them, just a simple hook or clip that can be clipped into there, so you can hang your mitts on them. So if you're taking mitts off to take to do jobs or take photos and so on, you can quickly clip them on there, and they're not going to disappear. It's very very important, isn't it, not to let your mitts uh, vanish. They're so light. Uh, they're easily blown away or easily lost and it's a vital piece of equipment. Uh, uh, at these sorts of temperatures, minus 50, minus 60, every part of you has to be protected from the cold and hands particularly will use them but they've got, they really need the same sort of protection as you have on your jacket. So mitts are the answer, they're much much warmer than gloves and but it's desperately important that you don't uh, let them be lost. Uh, so we, we, on our mitts we put an idiot loop on so you can put a loop round your wrist and they can't be dropped but you could also as an alternative hang them off these D-rings, that's what they're for. Let's have a look at the pockets, now we've got a simple pocket system on the chest, it's a hand warmer pocket, so it's protected by uh, a, 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 an over baffle that's velcroed over and then zipped and inside it's fleece lined and it's next to the down so very very warm hand warmer pocket underneath that shell. Okay, Simple though, really protective and simple. So we've got two of those and let's just have a look at the hood. It's a large hood, it's a helmet size hood 
and it's very substantial it's downfilled of course and box wall construction again so a, a highly technical hood downfilled and really can be locked down it's got adjustable cord around the front it's got a stiff peak uh, over the front of your eyes and it's got a volume reducer at the back and it's got a large down filled chin piece that can be locked down with um, locked down with velcro just use a velcro tab to lock it down that gives you a very very protective hood that can be easily managed it's always the same isn't it when we're out the, the wind's coming, oh, it's always the wind coming the wrong way, isn't it? So if you can lock down one side and leave the other side a bit more relaxed and so on, that's the way you can manage the hood. So it's, it's very protective and very manageable. Now, let's just have a look at the inside of the garment. I'll just show you some more detail. So, first of all, I showed you two pockets on the outer. There's one here as well. It's a matte pocket, large, it's a large pocket underneath the shell and perfect for stashing kit as well and let's just have a look inside see if I can do this without let's have a look. I'll, I'll unzip it there you go right we've got two pockets these are water bottle pockets those will take uh, a, a large water bottle they'll take an algene an algene one litre bottle and they're just elasticated and they're high so they're they're on the top part here they don't go below the harness line if you were, if you had a harness on they don't they don't go low down on the pocket so they're out of the way but also on these pockets we put a little um, we put a little hook uh, on a piece of cord it's if you were if you wanted to tether something inside this pocket like a camera and just have a, a small camera with a piece of cord clip that onto it and it's in there you know it can't if it did drop out at all, because it's, it's, it's not a sealed pocket, it's just a very quick and easy elasticated pocket. But if you had a camera in there on a tether, you could easily access it and it's tethered. It, 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 it can't be lost, you can't drop it by accident. Of course, it's, things can get quite clumsy, can't they, in the cold uh, with mitts and very low temperatures. And you may be wearing an oxygen mask as well if you're at high altitude. So we look, we've... we've always work towards very simple features things that can be done um, without fuss you know there's a there's a there's a zip pull tab on here so, which is quite long so you can grab it with the mitts and so while you're wearing mitts so you can get into pockets even in really nasty come nasty weather and I'm going to take it off and just have a closer look at it with you so look. you can see that very simple, clean inner, massive box walling in there. So really one piece of kit and elasticated here on the inside there, look, around the, the lower back. We've put in a strip of uh, high quality elastic that pulls it in around your back to, so if there's any cold air spaces, you don't want those, just as you don't want them inside a sleeping bag, you don't want them inside a, a jacket either, you want it pulled in reasonably close, get the most efficiency from the warmth there. The hood, there you go, there's the volume reducer on the back of the hood. This hood is actually sewn on, but uh, uh, on the sides of the collar, on a collar stand, but we can uh, put it on with a zip if that's what you ask for. There's options on the website, you decide what you want of course. So if you want a zip off hoods, if some people don't like hoods, they don't want them, they get in the way. Others want to sew them on to make sure 100% that that hood cannot be lost. Just like mitts, it's a vital piece of equipment and you don't want to lose it. Um, so that's the basics of the Amiga. This one's HS2, we can do it in Tempest as well. There's, there's reflect on the front there and there's reflect on the hood that's for nighttime searches if anyone was looking for you they'd locate you very very quickly you can see the the peak of the hood there it's it's got a a, a stiffened peak and it's also got uh, 
wire across the front there so you can shape that hood to get complete control of it now this one's a size small so it's too small for me i can get it on but it isn't the right size um, but we also so we, we make uh, extra small extra to extra large even extra extra large and we could also make it extra 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 large for for clients but we also do custom sizing so if you for me for instance i would take a, a medium but i'm quite lanky quite tall i'd certainly consider uh, having it custom sized so for instance i would take a size medium but i might have the body length lengthened to the same as a large or even extra large and the same with the sleeves if you want to you choose your body in custom sizing which we offer on on all our clothing look for the custom sizing tab on the product page and then you get a whole set of new sizes that you can choose but effectively it works on the width you choose the body width that you want so i would choose a medium and then you select the sleeve length and the body length that you want and you can go up two sizes so if you've got a medium jacket you can go up to a large in length of sleeve or an extra large in length of sleeve or you could go the other way you could go to a small from your medium sized jacket you could go to a small in length or extra small in length to get just the right fit for you it's important isn't it i mean you're looking for good coverage but also you don't want things too big too long because you're carrying too much weight you don't need it in the first place so getting a really good fit is important that's why here at PhD we make everything for directly for the clients for the end user we make every piece individually handmade one at a time and it's basically tailored or bespoke to give you the good fit so that's the Amiga down jacket for minus 55 degrees C can be boosted to minus 59 degrees C and it's for the coldest expeditions the coldest situations of film crew working in the coldest places or polar explorers and so on going to the coldest places on the planet okay cheers <laughs>